So it is yet again time for another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode 18, and that means I have three new setups to showcase to you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first up, we have a super clean, super stylish home screen setup sent in by Nagesh. And this is one of those setups that had me hooked as soon as I saw the initial screenshot. And so I knew I had to include it in today's episode. So starting with that wallpaper, this is a really nice looking backdrop that has been sent through directly, which will of course be linked below. And I just reckon this sits so elegantly in the background with that sunrise providing a really visually impressive gradient of colors. We have pinks and blues and whites, and then we have that mountain down the bottom that contrasts nicely and breaks up the backdrop really effectively. Then up the top, we have a super clean day, date and weather widget. And this one comes from the watermelon for KWGT pack. And it's also been customized so that all of the text is black instead of white, really easy to change yourself. Down the bottom, we have a dock of seven application icons. Now, originally, Nagesh's setup used icons from the Iris UI icon pack, but I quite liked the look of the Pix UI icon pack within this setup, so I took the liberty to make the change for the video myself, but both icon packs will be linked below if you want to experiment with a different look. Either way though, the icon packs both have that circular icon shape that I know and love. It just ties in visually with the minimalistic nature of this setup, so I am a fan. Below that, we have a custom search bar widget. This was actually set up and sent through directly by Nagesh himself, and I really, really like the look of this search bar widget. It has that stock Android look, but is even cleaner in its design, and I'm a big fan of what Nagesh has come up with here. Aside from that, moving into the app drawer, and here you can see the app drawer has been customized pretty extensively as well. We have a whole range of folders to keep things organized, and the folder icons do come from the Iris UI icon pack, which looks great. But that is it for this setup. Whilst it is quite minimal, it also looks awesome, and I can definitely see myself using a similar setup in the future. Next up, we have a two-page KLWP-based Nova Launcher setup. This is from someone dubbed The Gaming Hunter. And if you're not sure what a KLWP setup is, then episode 17 of the best Nova Launcher setups went into a bit more detail, so that is definitely worth a watch. But let's take a dive in and see what is in the setup itself. So on the first page, we have this cartoon sunset and tropical vibe going on thanks to that wallpaper. And what's really cool is that the circle around the sun in the middle is animated on a loop, giving the setup a bit more of a dynamic look and feel. On top of that sunset animation, we have five application icons placed in a semicircle formation. And whilst this does make the setup ultra minimal in terms of app icons available on the home screen, it does also mean we get this super clean and integrated design that looks amazing. Above that is a clock and date widget, which matches the aesthetics of the backdrop nicely. And I have this set up so that tapping on it launches into the clock application. Coming down the bottom, and here we have a Google Assistant and search bar widget. And again, behind that Assistant icon, we have this animating circle that just helps the overall setup feel alive. Now, as I mentioned previously, it is a two page setup. And so swiping over to the second page changes things up quite dramatically. And now we have a dark moon backdrop. And this features a wolf howling smack bang in the middle there. On this page, we have the circle around the moon animating on a loop. So still a nice dynamic design like the first page. Up the top on this page, we have a weather widget and I'll set this up to launch into the frog weather shortcut application upon tapping on it. And then down towards the bottom and here we have a music player widget, although I couldn't quite get mine to work properly. So it may need some tweaking upon installation. Right up the top, and you may have noticed that custom status bar widget. Here we have the Wi-Fi and battery levels on the left and right respectively. And this looks pretty clean, although it requires some tweaking depending on whether your device has a notch or not. Lastly, heading into the app drawer, and here we have a nice background to match the original sunset wallpaper. Icons are again from the PixUI icon pack, but you can see that with that search bar up the top, Nova Launcher still has some work to do in integrating with notch style phones. Aside from that, if you're looking to use the backdrops from either of the home pages within this setup, then you can find them within the Ince Walls application. But that's it for this setup, super dynamic and unique, and one worth trying out. And last but not least today is Amir's one page setup, another really clean home screen layout here. So let's take a look at what has gone into making it look and feel the way that it does. Starting again with the wallpaper, this is called the Divine Geo wallpaper, and it's taken from the Wally wallpaper application. We've got that dark storm cloud look. This gives the widgets and app icons on top plenty of visibility, which is great. And also really like that slight pop of sunset on the far left there, just gives us a little bit of hope in an otherwise dark and gloomy backdrop. 
The white border lines are also integrated in with this wallpaper. And as you can see, Amir has used this border effectively to align his widgets and icons really nicely within the home screen. Up the top right, you can see there's a clock and weather widget. This actually comes from the digital clock Xperia widget application, and this uses the clock3.ttf font. And this widget is nice because it allows you to tap on the clock to open up the clock application, and to tap on the weather to open up a nice weather box that is interactable with lots of helpful weather information. Below that, we have a four by three set of 12 application icons. Once again, using icons from the PixUI icon pack, which looks particularly impressive within the bounding box there. And then finally below that, we have a Google search bar widget taken directly from the inbuilt Nova Launcher options. Swiping into the app drawer requires a two fingered swipe. And this is probably my only gripe about the setup. It does seem a bit counterintuitive to have to use two fingers to get into the app drawer, but each to their own. Although once in here, you can see the app icons have been set up to be quite small, which means we can see lots of icons on the one page, which will definitely please those of us who like to keep the swipes to a minimum. But aside from that, that is it for this setup. Very simple, but also very effective. But aside from that, that is it for today's episode. As always, links to each of the different assets you need to load these setups onto your own devices, including the Nova backup files, the wallpapers, and everything else will be included down in the notes below. So don't forget to check them out. And as always, don't forget to let me know which of the setups in today's episode was your favorite and why down in the comments below. If you wanna have your own setup featured in this series, then the submission video is linked down there as well. So don't forget to watch that. And the last thing to let you know of before we go is that I just launched my own merch store. So if you haven't yet checked that out, then there's a link down there for that as well. But that is it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later.